In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and create an offline backup of your pro stores or other e-commerce website. For this demonstration, I'm going to use surpluscameragear.com, which is currently hosted on pro stores. And um, the first thing you need to do is go to the HTT Rack website to download the website copier. Uh, once you've done that, click on the download tab and download the highlighted installer. In my case, it's the 64 bit version, but on your computer, it might be a standard installer. This depends on your version of Windows. So click on the link, save file. Wait for it to download. This could be a few seconds or a few minutes, depending on your internet connection. Open the installer. I actually downloaded it already, but you'll only see one copy. Click Run. Um, accept the user control access, which you can't see in the video. Click Next, read the licensing agreement if you want, accept it, Next, 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 leave all the default options, install, wait for it to install, unclick that, and click Finish. I'm going to leave the default language of English. Click on Next. Um, change the location. And if you like, add a folder name. So I'm going to call it Test Download. Name it. You could give it a name of your e commerce website or any website. I'm just going to call it Test, Test Product project category, click next. Now load your um, website and copy or select the URL, right click on it, copy, go to the HTT Rack program, paste it in. Now um, in order to get a complete download, make sure that you remove the servlet slash storefront part of the URL. Um, this is a pro store specific thing. Just remove that, leave the ending slash. Click on set options. Click on scan rules and just remove all of these scan rules. If you don't remove the scan rules, the program will actually start downloading files, images um, from other websites. So if your website or your e-commerce store has links to Wikipedia or other websites, it's going to start downloading files from Wikipedia. It could end up downloading all of Wikipedia or whatever. It could take a long time and you don't want that. Um, if you want to maximize the download speed, increase the download speed. If not, just leave the default, it's fine. And click on OK. And now click Next. And leave these settings and click Finish. Now, the download process could take quite some time. This depends on the performance of the ProStore's servers or your internet connection and your settings, of course. Um, for ProStore's um, or for this um, surpluscameragear.com website, it took about 20 minutes to download um, all of the product pages and images. Um, so. I'm actually just going to cancel this um, 
process right now to keep the video short. Um, but that's something to keep in mind. If you have a lot of products and your internet connection is not very fast, it could take several hours. I'm just going to click cancel. You can actually resume um, the download later on if you need to interrupt it for some reason. And um, I actually took a screenshot of the uh, download process when it completes. You'll see mirroring operation complete. You can click finish. So once it's downloaded or started downloading, it will um, create some files in your select, selected download folder. Um, you can click on the index file and test, and this is actually an offline version of your store. Um, all the links should work. There might be some added oddities if um, you use a lot of JavaScript. Um, and if you're looking for your product images, just continue down the folder structure. Click on your um, domain name. In this case, it'll be surpluscameragear.com. And for pro stores, um, most of the images, I believe, are actually stored in the uh, media folder, not the images folder. So for the images that are on the product pages, they'll be in media and then in these um, numeric folders. And because I interrupted the download process, um, there aren't many images in here. And that's it. I hope you liked the video, and if you have any questions, leave a comment.